terms of your window reveals and your window heads, um, they are also areas where we often see significant heat loss in thermal bridging. Um, could you explain how you're going to limit heat loss in thermal bridging around your window reveals and your heads? I see you've got some Gutex here, could you? Wood fibre. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, just in general, um, placing the windows in the middle of your insulation is often the best place for the windows or mm -hmm. the, the one that gives you the best values. But I was keen to have um, deep reveals so that I can sit in the, in, on the window board inside. Okay. And um, so I didn't know exactly how to overcome the thermal bridge between the window because they're really far out. So um, I have to admit, I saw that detail somewhere else, so I mm. just stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it by another really good uh, Irish timber frame company using them on a passive house, and I was like, bang, that's it, I'm doing that. So it's a 40 mil Gutex board, wood fibre board, which is insulating, mm -hmm. and it goes all the way to the outside uh, of the window. So it's okay. actually even passing the... Uh, just about passing the racking board so that I have a full 40 mil insulation layer um, <clears throat> before I even install the windows. And then mm. there's those packers. Well, I just need them, you know, to fix the windows and as ground for my um, board then. Okay, very good. So that's a piece of the Gutex wood fiber, a thinner piece, but that's, that's a, an insulating board. You've got your packers as grounds for your windows and as grounds also for the air tightness membrane, perhaps, when you're stapling it later on. Yeah, no, um, good point. Perhaps you could explain, in terms of thermal continuity, this is what this is achieving, but how do you plan to achieve air tightness continuity then at that junction? Yeah. Like, um, we're using the Proclima Intello membrane, and um, we install it to the face of the wall, mm -hmm. and then we will just kind of drape it around here, bring it in, and stop it somewhere along that line mm -hmm. here, and um, you're absolutely right. Like, and you need some ground for the intello. You can't just install air tightness into thin air, or mm. you, you want something a bit more rigid than insulation to fix it and yeah. keep it keep it in place. Like, and um, once the membrane is installed, we're gonna use um, a tape. It's also a Proclima uh, uh, tape. It's specifically made for window sealing. Okay. And um, if I, I can peel it off here, and it has that little strip which is pre-folded and that's 12 13 millimeter wide mm. so it's perfectly covered by a gypsum board okay if you place the gypsum board right okay and over the and um, so it's a pre-folded corner pre sealing tape corner sealing tape mm. and um, it works so 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 easy i'm just going to show you a little bit here okay um fold it around you have that sticky bit Okay. And let's say previously with other tapes, you always kind of had to judge like how how far to kind of tape onto the face. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm here. Now with this tape, you just flip it around and you can just follow the line of the ah. window. Yeah, I see. So it's a straight line, straight down, and you can be absolutely confident that you're 12, 30 mil on the frame, no more, no less. Mm. And then you just fold this over and stick it back onto the air. That's really membrane. good. Okay. So that's Tescon Profect, and that allows you Tescon Profect to seal at that point. Very and good. That's how we're going to finish that off. So to attain thermal continuity, what we've done here is we've used the Gutex wood fibre board between these uh, timber battens. That's running all the way to the outside, so you're getting good thermal uh, coverage over the window frame combined with the intello sealed to the window there for air tightness. So that gives you your thermal continuity and your airtight seal at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Okay.